also punk, also punk. He's not radioactive. He's also punk. Alas, poor SpongeBob. We knew him well. Mm-hmm. Oh, there I am. Hi, folks. It is time once again for hair dyeing. You see, my hair is fading from its cotton candy pink to less pink. My roots are clearly dark, so we must do something about this phenomenon. So, we're going to dye our hair today. And what color this time, you may ask? Hmm. Well, that's the, that's the part of why I'm filming. Because I filmed it when I did it blue. I filmed it when I did it pink. But today, we're going to do purple and pink. Oh, two-tone, yes. Never tried before. Never had someone do my hair two-tone. Never done someone's hair two-tone. So we're trying. Flash. So yeah. So we have our blue flash, which is actually a bleaching compound for those that don't know. Then we have our pre-pour. Mm, that looks really disturbing. Um, where did I put it? Ah, here. Yes, the uh, 30 volume developer, which must go with the bleach powder. Which is Mix in blue dye. Look at that blue dye coming out. Blue not dye. Where am I That is the the, the, the bleach in the developer. There we go. I forgot a spoon to stir with, so hang on just one sec here. I'm going to use my hairbrush. We our blue pasty looking like stuff. You can see that all right. The brush is blocking out the light, you see? You see? That's what it looks like. Blue concrete for the hair. All right, let's put that in. Okay, so as you can see, it looks like toothpaste in my hair. It should be bleaching. Okay, so I got the hair bleaching. You can see, bleachy, bleachy. Grab back here. Bleachy, 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 bleachy. Bleachy, bleachy, bleachy. So I think we got it light enough that we might be able to start washy washing, which would be good. Okay, so there you go. You can see lovely, lovely blonde locks underneath. This will be purple. I don't know how far down I'll do the purple. Probably about to right here. And then try to do the ends and the pink again. And uh, let's see if we can get that one to go in. Your hair looks like crap, punk. I saw that. Okay, so what we're trying to do here is use a plastic bag to put over the hair to separate what we want to be pink from what we want to be purple. And hopefully, if we do this right, we will get that accomplished, you see. I'm trying to do is get this up. Up, 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 as it were, using my brush. Ugh, pink brush, pink hair, that's how it works, you know. Wait, let's see, how should we do this? I think we'll do the bag first, and then the holder, perhaps. Mm -hmm. I did put a hole in the bag, yes, there are, okay. So let's just try this little trick here. See if this works as I intended or not. Ends, and hopefully that will do as intended. All right, let us uh, just gonna have to hold that up while I do this. Let us get started. Huh. You know what? I'm not even gonna take an edit there. Just gonna take the. Iro-ro-ro, which I found works. I used to use Manic Panic all the time. I found this iro ro stuff. I was recommended by a gal who works at a local beauty store. She said it would work much better. In fact, it did, because I've had Manic Panic before and wound up uh, wound up uh, having it rinse out in less than a week sometimes. Sometimes it has stayed longer. It kind of depends. I think there are certain chemicals you can add after you dye your hair to help the dye stay, but... On its own, Manic Panic tended to wash out rather quickly the last time I used it. She recommended this, and I used no other chemicals, and you can see my roots have grown out that far. It had been... Let's see here. Okay, so what we're trying to do here is use a plastic bag to put over the hair to separate what we want to be pink from what we want to be purple, and hopefully, if we do this right, we will get that accomplished, you see. I'm trying to do is get this up, 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 as it were, using my brush. Ugh, pink brush, pink hair, that's how it works, you know. Wait, 
Well, that's fried my hair to a bit. There's no oils in my hair. It is rather dried out because of the bleaching process. Therefore, it is very hard to brush at this point. <laughs> if you were bleached your hair, really shampooed the hell out with this shampoo. It's very stripping. You'll know what I'm talking about. That is a very dry process. So, let's see. How should we do this? I think we'll do the bag first. And then the whole river, perhaps. Mm -hmm. I did put a hole in the bag yesterday. Okay. So let's, let's try this little trick here. See if this works as I intended or not. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but, you know, since I've never done this before, and this is loosely what I was going to start to do, not exactly. I consulted a couple of people I know that do hairdressing stuff. They all said completely different than that. Not really. Somewhat different than that, but that will hold that up. I should be able to get all this kind of purple on the bottom, and then on the top do the pink ends, and hopefully that will do as intended. Alright, let us, uh, just gonna have to hold that up while I do this. Let us get started. Huh. You know what? I'm not even gonna take an edit there. I'm just gonna take the Iroro, which I found works. I used to use Manic Panic all the time. I found this Iroro stuff. I was recommended by a gal who worked at a local beauty store. She said it would work much better. In fact, it did, because I've had Manic Panic before and wound up uh, wound up uh, having it rinse out. In less than a week sometimes. Sometimes it has stayed longer. It's kind of depends. I think there are certain chemicals you can add after you dye your hair to help the dye stay, but on its own, Manic Panic tended to wash out rather quickly the last time I used it. She recommended this, and I used no other chemicals, and you can see my roots have grown out that far. It had been oh, probably at least two months or more since I dyed it. Uh, the intended mauve that turned out cotton candy pink, and lo and behold, it stayed. So... I decided to go with that brand again because it was about the same cost. Uh, just don't put it in your fridge because it kind of looks like a Capri Sun and that could end very tragically. These gloves are too big because they're technically bought by a friend of mine. He was using them to clean his gun. And my hands apparently are much smaller than his. Okay. So they say squeeze some into a bowl. I say poppycock. We squeeze it on our hands. Prove we're a man by using our hands. Goop, goop, goop. And then we take the goop and scoop and spread. I probably should have added some, uh, oh, what was I going to say? Some Vaseline to the root right around the scalp. But I also found last time that my skin had enough oils in it that I didn't stain my skin too much with this stuff. So I'm just going to risk it because I didn't realize that. Well, I didn't realize. I kind of forgot to put it on until I just started putting this in and said, oh, shoot, I forgot the Vaseline. So. Okay, so you see, that is coming along pretty nicely. I think we have about five more minutes left of dye time before we go to washy washy. Mm -hmm. Your hair looks like purple doo doo. I oh, will kill you, there. punk. You know I do. Adios! Yeah, that's right. You better run. So, I'm just out of the shower. Most of the dye, well, not most, probably, a lot of dye has wrenched through and come out. It is a nice shade of purple. Well, looky there, it mostly did. This end, I got a little purple on it when I was actually putting the bag on, so that was before washing, but seems to have stayed uh, relatively... I can't see. Oh, there we go. See, that is technically magenta. That's what I put in my hair last time and got cotton candy pink. So, take that with a... Whoa, with a grain of salt there. As to what actually happens when we apply magenta to my hair. It does not necessarily become magenta. Well, uh, looky there. It came out two color. Well, three colors. Because somehow I managed not to get this part really dyed. So it's kind of a purple, blonde, pink triation. Not exactly what intended, but you know what? For a first try, I'll say it's better than it could have been. I don't know how I did not manage to get any of this dyed. Can't figure that part out. But nonetheless, the purple is pretty purple in most places. I don't know about the exact back, but uh, let's see. How does that do? You see back there? Does that look good? Y'all will see this before I do, maybe. Okay, so I forgot to record anymore, so I'm just giving you these still photos of what it looked like when it was all done and put up and dried and everything. I've been kind of sick, so my voice isn't great. Hilson, and good night, folks.